shock your brake. Make sure you have a clear workout area space to begin with. If you're working out by yourself, make sure you have a cell phone beside you handy in case you need to call anybody. Also make sure if you feel any chest pain, lightheadedness, dizziness, of any sort or any discomfort, make sure you pause, take a rest. And for now, we'll get started. So we're gonna start from top to bottom. We're just gonna open up all the shoulders. Okay, and we're gonna work on a little dynamic stretches here. So we'll roll the shoulders back. Okay, and we're moving forward. And we're gonna go arm swings forward. We're gonna go big circles here. Helps to focus on one spot alone. We're gonna go back, big circles. Okay, going forward, going small. And going backwards. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna take a wide stance. We're just gonna reach down, touch our toes, and do the mid swing as well. So wide stance again, just try to touch your toes, open up the mid back here. Make sure you keep your legs straight. Try not to work on bending the knees. Okay, next one we're gonna do, we're gonna open up with some jumping jacks. So get the heart rate a little going. Five more, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's our work on heel to toe. So we're just gonna rock forward, backwards, almost until we've got calf raise here. All right, so we're just gonna rock back on our heels, transfer the weight to our toes, and do a calf raise. Okay, good. Now, first one we're going to get started with, we're going to start off with a neck stretch. So we're going to go from top to bottom. First one I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my left elbow up to the ceiling, right? Grab the right side of my head with my left hand and pull slowly to my left shoulder. I'm going to hold this for 10 seconds. Just relax, focus on one spot. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Okay, 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, three, two, one. Okay, on this track as well, we're gonna work on a little tricep. So now I'm gonna bring my right elbow up to the ceiling. I'm gonna take my left hand and pull it to the left side. You're gonna feel the stretch on your triceps here. Okay. Keep that arm close. Again, we're gonna hold it for 15 this time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna bring my left elbow to the ceiling now. Work on my left arm here. Okay, you should feel the stretch right on the tricep, back of the arm. Very large muscle group. So just relax, catch your breath. Okay. Next, we're gonna move on to, we're gonna work on a little shoulders. So again, we're gonna do cross arms. So just swing, I'm gonna swing my right arm over my left, create a cross feature. You're gonna feel a mid shoulder there, right? And you're gonna pull your right arm a little closer. Feel a big stretch right there. Okay. Six, five, four, three, two, Take my right arm, left arm crosses over, and pull close. We're going for 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll work on this QL stretch. So what I like to do for this one, I'm going to bring my right hand to the ceiling. I'm going to cross over from the back, my right foot. Okay, so now it's going to look like Cross over there. I'm gonna bring my right hand to the ceiling, 
Okay, you're just gonna gently tilt to the side. Okay, we're gonna hold this. Okay, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Left side now. I'm gonna bring my left foot behind my right, cross it over, tilt to the left side. You can put your hands on your hips here. Right, you're gonna feel the stretch right on here. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. While you're standing, you can open up chest now. So what we're gonna do, I interclass my hands back, just like so. And you're gonna pull as far back as you can. You can feel the chest open up here. If you're also leaning against a wall, you can do a pec stretch or a 90-90. For now, if you're just standing with nothing nearby, just pull and clasp your hands. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna work a little lower now. So we're gonna work on our quads here, All right? You're gonna grab your ankle. Make sure you keep your balance as well. And you're gonna pull slowly. You're gonna hold for 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other ankle. Around my left ankle. Pulling that one close. It's a great stretch for the quad. You can also do this lying down as well. You can use your body weight to lean back on your knees. A lot of big stretch right here in the quads. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do standing figure four now. So we're gonna work on our right glute here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my right ankle over my left knee and I'm gonna sit down on that, on that knee. Here's the problem, you gotta make sure you keep your balance. So slowly focus on one spot. Okay, keep in line here. We can feel the stretch on your right glute. Sit down a little bit lower and hold it for 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna take my left ankle, bring it over my right knee. I'm gonna sit down there. Focus on that one spot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're gonna work a little lower, so we're gonna work on calf and some hamstring after this. So we're gonna, for calf stretch, what we're gonna do, we're gonna lunge with our right foot. I keep my back left foot planted on the ground. Make sure your heel's still on the ground. And you can lean your body weight a little forward. Keep your torso upright, chest is upright, but you're gonna feel it on your left calf there. You can slowly just hold it. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is step back, launch on my left foot, right? Right leg is still planted on the ground. Right heel is on the ground. Just relax on your left knee here. Right, you can feel all this, all the stretching happening back there. 15 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next one we're gonna do while we're still standing, we're gonna reach down Try to reach for your toes. I like to call this one just a hamstring stretch. Very easily, you just reach down, right? Try not to bend your knees here. Your focus is just keep your back straight, keep it neutral. Try to go as low as you can to get those toes, right? Last thing you want is a rounded back here, but you're gonna just keep it neutral. You're gonna sit your hips back here, right? And just hold it. All the stretching on your hamstring. 10 seconds, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Now, if you have a mat handy or you have a soft surface, you can go on. I have here a mat. So we're gonna do some, some exercises or some stretches now on the mat. I'm gonna start with the, for the hip flexors. What I like to do is just gonna lunge again with one leg. Start with my left. I'm gonna lean a little forward. Keep your right knee on the mat. We're gonna feel a stretch right here in the groin, crotch area. And take it as far as you can. Just lean a little more forward with the body weight. You're gonna rest your hands on your knee or your left knee. And you're gonna hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Start with my right knee now. I'm gonna lunge a little forward. Keep your left back knee on the mat. And just relax. Hold into the pose there. Okay. Take a rest. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One we can use the lotus pose. So that's for this one. You're gonna sit down. You're gonna bring your feet together. All right. Feet together. You're gonna to bring your heels a little closer to you. I like to have my hands on the toes there. You're just gonna pull in close. You feel a stretch in your adductors there. All right. And just relax. Hold into the pose. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Next, we're going to do some ex or some stretches again on the mat. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the hip crossover. So what I like to do is lie back on the mat or on the ground. I'm going to put my right leg straight. My left knee is going to go into the air at 90 degrees. I'm going to pull my right hand to my right side. All right. As far as you can, you're going to feel stretching your glute, your lower back. All right, I'm just gonna hold it. Make sure you keep your upper back on the mat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now my left leg's gonna go straight. Knee, right leg's gonna go in 90 degrees. I'm gonna pull my left hand here. Pull over to the left side. Make sure your upper back is still on the mat. Don't lift it off here. This is especially great if you have sciatica or any pinch nerves in that area. Lift up sides. Hold it in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna now target some lower back. So uh, easily while you're in this position still, you can bring your knees to your chest. Just clasp your hands. You can rock side to side, right? You're gonna hit the lumbar region there of your spine, very lower back. Just round it out, relax. Bring your knees as close as you can to your chest. Just hold. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna sit up on our mat. What I now like to do usually is go into abs. So go into a cobra pose. You're gonna go stomach down on the mat, almost like a half push up here. Hands are to your side, and you're just gonna lift up slow. Right? You can go into full extension, you can look up to the ceiling, right? Tilt that head back, or you can look straight. That's okay too. You're gonna feel the stretch in your abs here. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Okay. Another one you can do when you're going to tabletop pose, we're going to thread the needle here. So hands and knees on the mat, and I'm going to weave my right hand through my left side, put up the mid back here. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, now I'm gonna leave my left hand, right side there. Just open up the mid back. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Okay, that's it. Thank you everyone for attending the stretch break. Hope to see you guys soon.